my biggest request on green screen stuff is how do I simply pull a key, remove that green from the video? This video is in Premiere Pro. I'm going to keep it simple. You should be able to do it in any of your video editors. It isn't meant to be full coverage. It isn't meant to be perfect. But for those basic filmmakers who are just getting into this, I'm going to set up a green screen behind me. I'm just going to use these lights. I'm not going to light the green screen or anything else. The green screen shot is not going to be great. And that's the whole point. We just want to get a quick key and pull the green out and be able to mess with it a little bit. Let's set up the green screen. All right, we got our green screen set up and notice I don't care about these edges here. I did turn off this light that was hitting the back of the green screen. And if I don't watch, I have some shadows and stuff. But I'm just going to stay planted here. Again, this is just a simple green screen pull. Okay, here we are. I'm using Premiere Pro, but as I said, you can do this in just about any decent video editor that you happen to be using. For Premiere Pro, it's Ultra Key. For After Effects, it's Key Light. Whatever your video editor uses, that's what you use. So let's add that. Nothing's happened. We need to come over to the effect controls. A key is we're going to pull out all the green stuff and leave what isn't green. To do that, we click on this little eyedropper and click somewhere close to the talent, which is me. Boom. Now this looks pretty legit, but if you go over here, composite is what you see is what you get. Alpha channel is show me the blacks and whites and everything in between. Now everything white will stay. Everything black will go away and everything that's gray <laughs> is bad. For me, there's all these values. Don't get confused here. There's transparency and shadow and pedestal. You just mess with these. All you're trying to do is get this dude white and what's around him black. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to yank this all the way up. That's pretty good already. And I'm going to take, uh, let me take the transparency, mess with that. When you see that, that's creepy. Anything that isn't white is going to show you the background. It's going to look terrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to poke this back just until everything that is me, the talent, is white. There's still a little bit there. There we go. That's my glasses. So you'll be able to see those through the background. I can mess around some more. I can take, in this particular instance, what they call the shadow. Um, the reason why I'm going to do that is because my hands move around here. Now, when you look at this, Again, it looks good, but you can see traces of stuff around here. What I want to do, and the reason why I didn't care about getting it all black over here, why I didn't care about the green screen being partially in the shot, is because I'm going to mask me out. Again, I don't move a lot on purpose. So I'm going to go up here. Let's reduce this down. I'm going to mask just around me. Clip there, clip there, 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 up here, up here, up here, up here, up here, down here. And we'll close them up. And notice everything outside of that went away. So now we're just seeing me. So if I look over here, you're just seeing me and everything outside of that is pretty much gone. Now we got to watch because my hands probably go out of the frame a little bit. Close there. Almost, almost, almost up. Oh, there we go. And what we do is we're just going to increase the mask here. Just going to move it. So my hands in there. Maybe I'll do that. And we're just going to look at this footage, maybe scroll through it a little bit, make sure my hands don't go around, especially if you're doing this on purpose and you're doing a green screen. Just keep your hands. If you have your hands flying all over, you're going to have a heck of a time. So I'm pretty satisfied with that, and I'm pretty satisfied with the mask. Now, there's two ways to do this. Let me show you the easy way first. Yes, here's a background, and I'm just going to drop it in here. And there I am. And it looks pretty legit. I might play with this background. Let's blow this up some. Maybe we put this up here. Now, notice perspective. If that were sitting on the floor, you'd be like, something's going on here. That's going to ruin your eye a little bit. So let's make it bigger. Maybe we do it like, let's say we do something like this. Yeah, something like that. Now, you'll notice that looks pretty legit. Um, I would run with that for a quick whatever. If I wanted to, I could do other things to this. I could play with this, but I'll show you that in the next one. Now, the next background I add is this one. This is where it gets a little more complicated. 
And the reason why I used the first one is because it matched the background. A couple of things you're gonna notice here. The first thing is it looks odd. There's a chair back there. Let's check this out. There's a chair back there, it's a bookshelf. And that's because the perspective is off. What you wanna do is you wanna grab this background and let's uh, blow this thing up. There's a ceiling, we don't wanna see that. We don't wanna see the floor either. Let's just set that to about 150. And you're gonna wonder, is that gonna pixelate and be bad? We don't care right now and I'll show you why. Now to make the effect worked is we're going to add a blur. Almost every editor on the planet has a thing called a Gaussian blur. We're going to add that to the background. We're going to come over here and if you go bad it's going to look really bad. Um, this thing is something that you really want to just tweak. You just want to add something, a little bit of blur to give it the illusion of some depth. Now again why I use the blue background is because I had no adjustments. The background was already blurred. So pick a background that it fits with. It'll save a lot of time. Now, the next thing I notice here, because I'm on a white background and I'm doing this quick key, you'll notice there's a bit of line around me. Now you can get rid of that by doing the following. Let's go back into our ultra key and under matte cleanup, you'll have similar things. There's something called choke. Literally you give yourself a haircut. That's terrible. What you do is you just watch very carefully on this line and you're gonna very gingerly pull this in till you see this black line disappear right about there maybe a little bit more what happens is now I've lost the black line I haven't lost anything else and you know what I still see a bit of hair around here sticking out but it just looks like a good haircut now if you did this with a woman and hair flowing it's not gonna work you're gonna use other tools but it looks pretty legit. Video all about green screening and pulling keys and lighting it separately and everything else, but many are using very simple. Now, the reason why I'm getting away with this is because I'm the point of interest. I'm talking, they're gonna be looking at me. They're not gonna be staring at the bookshelves. That's the more difficult way. You can play with all this stuff. You can soften the edges. You can go through and color correct stuff. You can make yourself look awful. <laughs> Um, you can change the hue, you can make yourself a blue person, you can play with the luminance and lighten it up. In fact, I might just, because it's a white room, I might just tweak this just a little bit so it matches the background. And there you go. But many are using very simple light setups and just wanted to see how can I just pull a key. That's how you simply pull a green screen. Your keyer may be different, but again, the basics are all the same. And that's how you do that. Remember, I got free courses over at Basic Filmmaker University. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. You can also do some weird stuff like this. Instead of pulling the green out, you just mess around with these controls here and you crush it all down. And what happens is you get like a different kind of background without the green. You don't have to put anything in there like that. That's cool, isn't it?